We are finally seeing some traction in F1 visa slots. So if you are giving your F1 visa interview from the Mumbai consulate, then in this video, we are going to cover some very, very specific questions. Keep on watching. Hi guys, my name is Shachi and I'm a travel and a visa coach. On this channel, you will find lots of useful videos on the US visa process. We have playlists specially for the F1 visa, so make sure to check all of these videos. Today's video is going to be specifically about the F1 visa questions that are being asked in the Mumbai Embassy right now. So in the last two to three weeks, we have seen increased traction in number of slots that are being released for the Mumbai Embassy. And analyzing and looking at the interview trends, we've also noticed some peculiar questions which are being asked repeatedly by the visa officers in this embassy. So in this video, we're going to cover all of these questions and of course explain how you can answer them. So let's get started. So let me start by giving you an overview of the entire process which is happening in the Mumbai embassy right now. So you have to basically arrive about an hour before the time mentioned in your appointment confirmation page. So if you look at your appointment confirmation page, there is a specific date and time mentioned for your visa interview. Plan your travel in such a way that you are arriving an hour before this time. And once you're there, about half an hour before the time mentioned in your appointment confirmation page, you will be let in inside the embassy. Once you're inside, the first counter is where they're going to verify the documents. So your I-20, your service, your DS-160 confirmation, your appointment confirmation and your passport are going to be verified to make sure that all the details here are correct. Once the verification is done, you are asked to sit in a room. So there is a waiting area which is made in the Mumbai consulate. Uh, there are chairs there and you are asked to sit and wait there. The typical waiting time here is about half an hour to 45 minutes. Post this, once your turn comes, you will be asked to join a queue. And this queue leads to the main room and this is where the visa interviews are being conducted. So in the main room, there are currently about five to six counters which are open, which means that there are about five to six visa officers who are taking these interviews parallelly in the Mumbai embassy. The general feedback about all these visa officers has been pretty positive. Unlike the last intake where we had some very specific feedback and remarks about few of the visa officers, we have not heard anything as such till now about the Mumbai embassy. All the five to six visa officers seem to be friendly. They seem to be asking the same type of questions. So once your turn comes, you will be asked to join a specific queue to meet the visa officer. And there is where you'll be giving your interview. And this entire process is currently taking anywhere between 45 minutes to one hour. So this is how the entire process is being conducted in the Mumbai embassy right now. If you're still here, still watching the video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. So in the comment section below, put down which course and which university you're going for and let us know that. Coming to the interview questions being asked in the Mumbai embassy, these questions can be divided into two categories. The first category are the general set of questions which are normally asked in all F1 visa interviews and they are similar across all the embassies in India. Now you can get a complete set of these questions in one PDF. So we have made a question bank for spring 23 intake. This is a free PDF. The link for this is in the description box below. So you can click on the link, download your PDF and prepare for all of these questions from that. The second category of questions are those questions which are very, very specific to the Mumbai embassy and we have seen them repeatedly being asked in the last two to three weeks. So now we're going to talk about these five specific questions which are being asked in the Mumbai embassy and also discuss how you can answer them. The first question being asked very commonly in the Mumbai embassy right now is why are you changing your domain? Now when the visa officer asks you why are you changing your domain, he could mean that why are you changing your domain from your undergrad to your master's. For example, let's say that you studied civil engineering in your undergrad and now you're going for a master's in computer science. So he could mean that why are you changing your domain from civil engineering to computer science. That means from your undergrad to your master's. Or why are you changing your domain could also mean that why are you changing your domain from your work experience to your master's. That means that let's say that you worked in a different domain, for example, maybe you worked in the medical domain and now you're going for a management master's. So the visa officer could mean to understand that why are you changing your domain from a medical work background to a management master's. So in both these cases, the most important thing to do is to find links to the subjects which are there in your master's to the points from your background. So identify these links, identify these connections highlight them and communicate it to the visa officer. The second question which is being asked very, very frequently in the Mumbai embassy is, what is your specialization? 
Now, what is your specialization is a question which is being asked to people pursuing master's program, to people pursuing bachelor's program, and for people going for PhD as well. So, the follow-up question is usually which course are you going for and after that, the next question seems to be what is your specialization. It's really important that you identify what will be your focus area or specialization in your program. The best way to go about this is to get your curriculum, look at your curriculum, look at your electives, look at what are the subjects that you're planning to pick and those subjects or those group of subjects can become your specialization. The third type of question which is being asked very commonly is technical questions related to your course. And these technical questions are usually picked from your DS-160 form or from the answers that you have given to the visa officer. So do a thorough check of your form and all the answers that you have prepared and make sure that whatever technical terms are included in your answers, you're able to explain and justify it to the visa officer. So the fourth question which is being asked very, very commonly is what will you learn from this course? Now, on the face of it, this sounds like a very different question. What will you learn from this course? But if you really think about it, this is just another way for the visa officer to ask, why do you want to do this master's or why do you want to do this bachelor's? So what will you learn from this course is just another way of asking why this course. So whatever answer you have prepared for why this course is going to work here as well. One important tip is to remember to include details of your curriculum in this answer. So details of the subjects that you're going to pick, especially the ones related to your specialization should be included in this answer. And the fifth question which is being asked very frequently is how is this course relevant to your work experience or how is this course relevant to your background? Now again on the face of it this does sound like a complicated question but if you really break it down this question is about finding those links from your background to the course. Now these links could come from your academics or it could come from your work experience. It is not necessary that you have to have experience in the same domain as the masters but there should be some relevance between the two example if you're going for an analytics masters then if your work experience can show some bit of data handling some bit of analysis these are the links and this is what you can tell when asked what background you have or if you're going for let's say a management program then experience that you have should be showing some bit of management team handling or decision making roles and this is the link that you could highlight if you don't have any work experience, focus on your academic subjects, focus on your internships, your final year projects and see how they can be connected to the program that you're going for. Now this is a really really important question and this is going to take a little bit of time, a little bit of rework. So make sure that you are spending enough time on this. So these are all the questions being asked in the Mumbai Embassy right now and to be really thoroughly prepared for your interview it's important that you know what you have to say and also practice saying it and practice comes only via mock interview so we have a live mock interview video so you can watch this video take this mock interview with me and practice and prepare for all of your questions so i hope you found this video useful if you have any more questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below you can also dm me on instagram my instagram handle is at shachi.mal and for a more thorough and in-depth prep get in touch with me we have a extensive program for the spring 23 intake it's the seven day program wherein we prepare you completely for the visa interview we start by understanding your profile filling your ds-160 form structuring your answers and conducting multiple mocks we also have other ways in which you can prepare with me we have the core package we have one-to-one -one sessions and we have mock interview sessions as well so details of all of this is in the description box below do check it out there are also tons of free resources so just like the pdf of the question bank that i mentioned earlier we have other pdfs as well make sure that you're giving all of this a look and using it to prepare for your visa interview that's all for this video we'll be coming up with more f1 related content especially for the spring 23 intake so do subscribe stay tuned and signing off for now i'll see you in the next one Bye bye